All right, all right, what is going on, guys? Welcome back to the Barcelona FIFA 21 career mode series, the Rebuilding Barcelona series. Thanks for the great response for episode one. And the top comment was something I really agree with and someone I look in the team, uh, that is De Jong. We can really start to build the career, especially someone who's at the team, he's young enough, he's only 23 years old, and yeah, his first team ability. We've got a lot of youngsters that, yeah, they're not, you know, they're, they're going to be developing some of these guys. Pedri is pretty nice. Elenia, yeah, we're going to have to see. He's a, he's 22. See, Pedri is, he's younger. Yeah, he's 17. But someone like a De Jong, if you look at everyone else in the first team, you could say probably Fati as well. But De Jong, he's, he's 85 overall. Like, yeah, he's in the team right away. He's a... You know, he's a strong, he's a strong young player in the first team. So yeah, he definitely is someone we can build it around. And once more, if we sort by the older player, someone like Braithwaite, I, th I thought about it and yeah, reading some comments, I've got to agree with that, that we just, he, he's not good enough. If we use him, I don't think we'll be able to use him as a player that like the way we want to play and then his ability as well, 76 and he's pushing 30, that's not good enough. It was questioned if we would sell like Coutinho. Coutinho, so I think five-star Skillmo. See, he can play in a system that would suit Barcelona and the way I want, intend to play with Barcelona as well. And someone like a Griezmann, I know, I know these guys are older. <laughs> starts injured. We need these guys in at least for this season, while we still have to develop those younger guys because we've got high expectations. He's 87 overall, so he's going to still be good enough this first season and see, yeah, see what changes once he hits 30. Another thing with the team as well, Messi, I even question it as well. Messi to play over the right side, he's not getting negatives there uh, while his fitness isn't high or more so his sharpness would increase that uh, even more so and happiness like with the morale. But that brings up a spot. That brings up a striker spot. I thought about it after I was going through the team. Barca don't really have any other strikers. That's a pressing concern. And this is one man that has set the world of football alight at a very young age in the past year and a bit, Erling Haaland, which he has had his own, you know, Barcelona rumors. Of course, there's going to be rumors with a lot of the bigger teams, uh, but I really do think, and for what I just mentioned as well, Barcelona do not have, like, they got Messi, but they don't have a proper number nine proper finisher i'm not saying messi can't finish that's for sure but yeah i could see why they would be hunting uh, for someone like harland and even if he is a stronger well he's both strong and quick but i he wouldn't he the type of striker he is like a six foot four and if you want to play that tiki taka style in your mind normally yeah that on that, that wouldn't that type of striker wouldn't fit in, but I think his overall ability and how good he's going to get, he's 84 overall already, going to get so much better uh, with his potential. Uh, I tend to train him and play him a lot as well. He's gonna he's gonna be the recipient of all the created chances, and yeah, he'll finish that. So yeah, I think it's a good option, even though he'll be a bit pricey. So if we take a look at Erling Haaland's work rates as well, high and high, that could work, funnily enough, and we'll talk about the formation. But we'll leave that when we get underway in terms of games. Oh, they will not. Oh. Well done, FIFA. You just ruined my build. <laughs> but I wanted to sign him. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh. I don't like that. I don't like that reason. Leave a like on the video if that annoys you, where you just have no chance to sign a player just because they say that. But to be fair, you can do it yourself. But it's, uh, it's annoying, man. And hey, not realistic if they're approaching him in real life, uh, at least having negotiations with the Borussia Dortmund. So no, I can't have any negotiations. There's Sergio Aguero, who is about to sign for Barcelona in real life. So if we're talking about it, He's so close uh, to sign. Uh, I think just final details going through. I think I read he's waiting on Messi to commit or something like that, to commit to Barcelona and not be leaving, obviously, uh, from Argentina. See, his contract's expiring in 12 months, though, but I'd rather get him as soon as possible if it's going to be realistic and see whenever he retires. You don't know how you know, how much he's going to go down. If yeah, Aguero's joining, you want to see how he goes in FIFA as well with Barca. That, yeah, he's highest overall before he starts declining. Even though this is a rebuild, 
which were like, whoa, why are you signing a 32-year-old? That doesn't make sense. But we're going to get youth players in as well. So he's going to be one of those leaders at the top. And I feel, yeah, even for this career mode right now, I'd rather Messi on the right. So we need to sign a striker. So why not the man that's just about to join him? You know, he's leaving Man City. They'd want 48 to 60 million. And again, if it was in January, you can get him on a pre-contract. But the reasons I just said, he'll start to decline. And yeah, we want him from the very... Uh, very start not have to play a whole season so let's go by let's see how much we can get him for and how i mean like that's kind of just fitting like doesn't it fit well we're negotiating with pep i just like how that is and the realistic of that move like pep would have yeah talked to sergio about that like that would have been a good move for your like your next move of your career maybe your final move of your career for a big club anyway uh, so we are going to try. I'm going to experiment what I've done so far. I'm going to go at his, oh, just below his value because his contract's running out. Uh, because at least I haven't yet used the normal FIFA game for a while without the mods. So I've known on the mods uh, with the previous career mode I was doing, like you can get the player around his value and sometimes even below it. So we'll have to see. We'll have to see what comes of this. 40, 40 mil for Aguero. <sighs> okay, well, maybe not. The value... No, Firpo, no, he's a youngster. Th this would be even more. <laughs> this would be even more weird if it was w in a rebuild if we're getting a 32-year-old, but there's reasons for it. Remove, okay, maybe not, maybe not. So let's go 40, 44, a little bit above his value. Let's go 44 for Sergio Aguero. But you see Pep's intent as well, what he wants. 44 mil. How about... How about we make it a flat, a flat 50 million, 50 million. <laughs> no, I don't, why did I put an accent on that? I don't even know. Let's go. What accent was it even? I don't even know. Come on, 50 million. This will be a nice figure. There we go. There we go. I mean, it's, it's big money, but I reckon he could have a really, really good season. 89 overall if we can manage his overall to not drop by more than one if he stays at a minimum like of 88 for the year i think he's going to score a good amount of goals for us and we'll be happy with his output with that and he'll connect well have good chemistry with messi from argentina i know that's not a feature in fifa but let's pretend <laughs> where ea lacks the features with a, a, a feature that's literally in fifa in ultimate team chemistry <laughs> Not in career mode. Do you think chemistry should be in career mode for FIFA? Because it's, yeah, literally a system they have in the game already. I think it could actually work well. I wouldn't be surprised if it's a new feature, but yeah, let's get into it. Kun Aguero and his agent. And here he is. He's, I've always rated him so highly as a striker as well. Yeah, he's a quality finisher. Uh, we'll have to say he'll be a crucial player. Like he's going to be our main striker for the season. As I said, move. The thing is, he's on a huge wage. So Aguero, why does he look better in a suit? <laughs> it, it just feels like he it, he suits that look. <laughs> That's weird. Anyway, they agree. That's a huge way. I've got to experiment here. Thirty-two years old, a two-year deal. I don't sign too many 32-year-olds in career mode. So I was like, okay, how long do we offer him? Two years? Yeah, yeah, that's what they were looking for. That works well in the end. Nah, but if it was realistic, all players in the La Liga in Spain, they, I'm not sure about the other leagues, but definitely in La Liga, they have to have a release clause in their contract. So <laughs> I suppose we could have been realistic, but yeah, it's not a feature in the game. In fever anyway. So the wage, it's it's going to be big. It's going to be big either way. We can try to alter it a little bit. That's a big bonus. Remove the bonus. Edit wage, signing bonus, drop a little, not too much because he's going to, you might not want to sign. And drop the wage, just do a flat 300. That's still an incredibly high wage. I don't think in FIFA late like, this year I've signed someone on that much <laughs> like for their wage. So let's see what he thinks. Now he wants 370. Can we can we counter here? Can we go 350 and leave you with the same yeah, the same bonus? Won't alter that. 
Let's see. So we've had a little bit of back and forth through the negotiations now. Sergio, is he considering it or not? Who knows? They always make that face. That's not yeah, giving you either way an idea. Nah. It has to be 370. So we went through that. We'll give him what he wants before he escapes. But at least we got rid of the bonus for the goals. Because if he got to... I don't know, it was like... It was over 10 million. It was like 14 million. It was 14 million or something like that. And I think, yeah, he could smash in goal. So let's go. We are happy with the deal. There's money in the bank to play with. When I'm a big team at Barcelona, I just see it. Yeah, you just see it as money. You see it as a figure. And it's more so the player you want to bring in, which we did. Ideally, I wanted to go Harlan first. He would have been perfect. But I couldn't even approach him. So may, see, that's what I mean. He could be the approach for a following season if Dortmund sort out their transfers and have space in their squad to let him go. So Aguero, now he's going to definitely come up in the spots in the team. See, we need, yeah, Braithwaite. I said there wasn't another... I didn't... <laughs> I was going through trying to see another striker in the team before and I didn't even realise Braithwaite because he's that bad. So Aguero in Trinca. He's going to be so good, but he's... He, he Fati, nice wingers. They're going to be the options to take over from Messi. They could be the Messi. That's what I mean. We might even have that in the team already. Because, yeah, Trincao, he, you can play him as a center attacking midfielder. His sprint speed, he isn't that quick. His crossing isn't the best as well. So we could, what do you think about training him as a center attacking midfielder? I think we could probably do that. I think we could probably do that. And then, of course... Uh, Fatty, he, he's definitely a winger. You see the difference in uh, the type of players. Yeah, he's got that pace. Yeah, skill moves, weak foot. Weak foot's still good for central players, but I almost think we don't need to make signings. Yeah, we don't. I don't want to make too much signings anyway. We brought in a needed and realistic one, but it still leaves the option open for a young striker. We got this. I'm not sure if this guy's that good. Yeah, he, he's 23. I want to get rid of that Deadwood. So what I mean here, there's difference between someone like Conrad here. He's 18, so that's okay if he's 63. Collado, he's close. His contract's expiring. We're going to add him to the loan list, see if he's going to provide anything there. But for me, Solano, Andres Solano, at he's on loan at Barca. Like, why? I guess they have their own systems in place. He could be like at Barca B, so yeah. Do we just terminate his loan? Let me know in the comments and I'll do that if you agree. Yeah, these guys are on loan. I reckon these probably should be in the B team. Th these guys wouldn't be in the first team. But yeah, they might want to, clubs might want to loan them to Barca because of the training facilities and it could help them improve. Would that be the case as well? But they probably would play their games in the reserves. Uh, Pena, we'll wait to see uh, with him. Can we just sort out our goalkeepers for a second? Uh, yeah, you probably need a third. Hey, what if one of, our, one of them gets injured? Uh, yeah, you need another on the bench. Busquets as well, 67, maybe can get him some training, not sure if he would be good as Sergio, but yeah, this Ray Minaj, he's at 23, 68 overall, he's he's not that, yeah, rebuild type player we want uh, in terms of young players coming through, so add him to the transfer list, uh, trying to ship him out, uh, showing he's got great potential, so that's a sign to say they're going to be good as well, but I don't think he's going to... Uh, show much in this first season in terms of how we could use him at a 68 overall <laughs> with the expectations we have we're going to add him to the loan list anyone else has a special something Pereira he's 22 though we'll keep him we'll keep him uh, if he's got that special something but 69 man hopefully just trains well uh, Fernandez couple yeah 22 year old Brazilians here I, I'm just wondering about these guys potentials because they are 22 years of age this man is approached so I, I did we get I didn't oh yeah we got an offer before forgot about that uh, yeah well yesterday and then everyone else is going to be at a rating unless they're like Braithwaite 29 years old if they're you know young Furpo he was part of the offer before got rid of that quick but yeah everyone else first team uh, Sergio Aguero there he is the new number nine Braithwaite was number nine we, we weren't having any of that so yeah big offer 50 million transfer 370k on the weekly wage to finish off his career while he's still got great ability in him. 89 overall, as I said, uh, try and hold on to much of that as we can for the season. And if he does, like his current ability is very good. One of the best strikers in the world. And what we will hope, we got two of those scouts. 
We'll hope we can get in some young talents with those. I think two is a good amount. Maybe do three if we notice we aren't getting a lot of quality. Because I want that to be a decent part of the career. And that just blew our budget. But we have time to negotiate that. So we have to bring that. Yeah, and it doesn't have to be too high now. That's still a good 90 million. We're not going to use it all. It said that Eric Garcia is returning to Barcelona as well from Manchester City. We'll put him on the short list because he is loaned out for this first season. And also the other signing, Barcelona, I swear, with their signings, they've... Uh, I don't want to say messed me up a little bit, but I'm thinking the positives of this. We can get these guys in place to have a, a pretty strong first season. He's another one that's running out of his contract, so he won't cost too much. And once more, we're not going to wait to get him uh, well, pre-contract in January. He'll be joining yeah, season two. Because again, if you look at the team, there's Pjanic there. Not a bad player. He's 30 years old. So we're not comparing with the age. It's more so yeah, the qualities of these guys. And once more, it's the younger guys. And the younger guys, they're not not—they're not going to be up to it. We're going to rotate them in. But you wouldn't want to feel forced in an important game for the season to use one of those guys. Yeah, and a touch on Garcia. Yeah, he's, see, we have our eyes. We have our eyes on these younger players. And for different reasons, uh, we can't get them just yet. But Wijnaldum, he's going to be important. He's 29, so I don't think he's going to decrease the first season at least. And good overall, very versatile player. But yeah, 85 overall, 29 years old. This is a strange start to a rebuild, but I think you do see the reasoning. It's going to allow us to yeah, scout those youth players and uh, bring them in and have the, right, have the right foundations in place to succeed this season while still having youth coming up. So let's see how much we can sign in for. Probably around 30 million. And here we go with Klopp. So negotiating with a couple big uh, managers and Aguero's shirt showed up there as well. I reckon we are going to go 28. Yeah, go at his value and see where that is going to take the transfer. We'll just skip that. They're what? There, no way, guy. I, you can't make this up. That they want to take Coutinho back. Like you, you can't. Like some things in in this episode today, man. Oh, wow. So remove. That is just funny. So let's go at 30 million. I think it's a good chance to get accepted, but that's just funny. Oh gosh, it always happens to me, I tell you what. These funny little transfer offers. Yeah, 30 mil, gonna get accepted. Cheers. And we'll go into the contract. Two years, I'll do two years for the for the older players. See what he thinks. Yeah, they also agree with that one. Uh, no release clauses, yeah, we're gonna keep But if we're being realistic, you would have to put a, in real life, yeah, each player has a release clause in their contract in Spain. So there we go. We have to put out an offer. All right, definitely not that much. Yeah, we have to put out our own offer here. I reckon we keep it around his current wage, maybe a 170, drop it slightly. Not too much, of course. And a signing bonus needs to be, I'll put it a million there. It needs to be a decent amount. So submit offer. Let's see what he thinks of this. Considers. Far out. Far out, I ruined it. Maybe we can come back to that. We can come back to that. If I don't do it now, yeah, you guys can say sign him or don't. No, whatever. But like, you didn't get much opportunity. You did not tell me what you wanted at any point of that negotiation. That's weird. And I didn't even offer too much below what his current wage is. So thanks, FIFA. That's a sign. Let's continue for a bit here. Because we can also go back to the transfer. Uh, yes, the loan we will go for Ronald. Oh, there's a cut. I don't like two-year loans. I, I that's too long. I like one year personally. And there we go. Napoli come in uh, with Hiroki. I'm not sure how loan to buy. I don't for the time. See, he's got a release clause. I want to check how many players actually have release clauses. Uh, to be fair, a loan to buy. I don't know. I'd delegate for a one-year lot. No, yeah, just a one-year loan. And hopefully he does actually get game time. Yeah, guys, would you look at this? But the release clauses are mad. To Stegen, if we get that... If you look at each player, maybe De Jong's you want to remove. 
just to be careful. So I'll do that because there's there's a lot of these guys. Trink out. Teams are not going to offer those release clauses. You would want to be careful with them, but they're quite incredible. There's so many of them. I'm not going to do them all in this episode, but the ones that maybe could be taken and those players I don't want to give a chance to, yeah, I will sort those out. It does show the realism of that because it is a thing uh, in the La Liga. Players do need those release clauses in their contracts. It's a must. If we do look at the centre-backs, if we're going to rotate... Oh, yeah, long lay. I think it's good enough for the rotation for the season. Is there someone else we can bring in? Ooh, maybe not. We probably do need another. Get your comments in if Garcia we can't sign for a season. If there's still, yeah, center half we can sign. But <laughs> that will be like the fourth backup or the second backup, depending how you want to word it. Quick Sim, our fourth best center half. So Quick Sim should win this much stronger side. And as you see there, 67 possession for five goals. 67% possession as Juve win two. They win two. They win 2-1. That doesn't sound too confusing. So, Araujo, yeah, he's gone. Let's see. All the, oh, player injury. Please not. Seven weeks. Biscuits. Biscuits. <laughs> oh, golly gosh. And but we think about the negative of that, how annoying it is, and the realism of it. The older players might start getting injured, not as fit anymore, so they need to rebuild. But... That brings up that question, because I really do like... Ricky Puch. And yes, I had to get a Spaniard to say that because I wouldn't have pronounced that in the right way. Of course, I'm not going to do that every single time. Uh, Puch? Puch I, don't, I, don't, I don't even know how to say that. Reckon, uh, yeah, how should I go about in the future? Call him Ricky or... <laughs> yeah, what do you think? Anyway, I like his attributes, and I'd... I'd for a 75 overall, I think he looks better. For his good attributes, 82 vision... The short passing, work him a bit in training. I think he's got a lot of other weaker attributes, admittedly. Like, not really much of a, a goal scorer. Defensively, not that great. But I think his technique is pretty strong. Flair, and he's a playmaker. Yeah, I think I'd like using him. But funnily enough, yeah, Griezmann and Busquets getting injured, it's like, it's playing to the script of this series. Like, I didn't plan for them to get injured. I didn't want them to get injured. But then it opens the door for the younger guys in the team. So it is fitting. Uh, there was an offer from Hoffenheim as well. So we're just going to negotiate that the right way or the same way. Yeah, loan, not to buy. But it says something. Yeah, there's teams interested. And there, Aguero, he shines on debut, but I don't like this preseason tournament counting as his debut. This is not debut, mate. But yeah, he shows what he could do in the preseason. He's shown some talent. Not that he needs to prove, but, you know. But also, guys, considering we have made it to the final and it is a good opposition, we are going to play a game against Juventus. And it will be wise to test. And something else, I told you guys, I want to have the intention of playing a more possession game. But you don't want to run out of time. You don't want to be limited. So I'm starting on Legendary. I say starting, but I've been playing on Legendary because I was an ultimate and that was really, really difficult, you know, without using any sliders or anything like that uh, to change the game. But if I end up doing very well with this setup, maybe we'll up to ultimate to see how the season goes. Half length, I might even increase up to seven minutes. I just want to see how the game plays out. If we're going to try and hold on to possession, I don't want time to be running out. That's just going to be my that's going to be my plan, and this is a test, and see how we go, and let me know what uh, you guys will think with how it plays out. And especially against Juventus, I want to go in with currently the best team we can select. To obviously, forget about the injured players. Aguero, we'll get a look at Aguero, see how it fits into the team, and see if we can play that Barcelona football here today against Juventus in the Rakuten Cup final. Which, of course, are the sponsors for Barcelona as well. So it was fitting to choose this tournament and then also make the final and go and win it. And Pjanic against his old club. Isn't that... I told you, I don't know how it works, but these things work out fitting when I'm recording, man, in my careers. 
There's Aguero as well. We're going to get the first look at him. And I want tips from what you guys can see in the gameplay. Of course, you're not seeing the full game, but I'll try and get a decent amount of highlights. I want. Let me know. Let me know what I'll need to change in my game style, how I'm playing and whatnot. Because I just want to, yeah, replicate uh, that old Barcelona style at their very best. There we go. I was happy with that. Forcing a shot outside the box wasn't too clear, so now. But basically, I I know because the CPU play like that against me at keeping possession. So, yeah. So, Stegem. Like I said, with increasing the match time a little bit. I think that makes me more fine with playing this way. Because I always wonder if time's going to run out and that's why you attack quick. But right now, we're, we are being patient. And we're looking for an opening. Send Roberto on a run. Isn't quite that type of bombing forward, pacey fullback on the right side like Danny Alves was, right? Does that question a signing we need? But, see, that's what I mean. <laughs> you give away possession, all that build-up. You waste the first 10 minutes. Oh, but good pressure. Good pre pressure. Chesney. Oh! Aguero, that would have been perfect. The press was on. Okay. Be like, if we can defend Ronaldo, we can defend a lot of players. <laughs> if we could... Uh, Arta... Pjanic knew what he was doing. Oh, those two big for this occasion. And it's in a way making me defend maybe a little bit more responsibly. As I say that, as I say that, we defend. There we go. Because I don't feel in the need to rush. But if we have an opening... Oh, the blocking part. That See, that still is not going to change. <laughs> That's still going to be a part of the game. Dybala. All right, be patient. Equally with attack, but then on defense. Um, Titi. Wow. I promise I didn't try it that long. <laughs> Wanted to get to Roberto. I'm um, Titi. Oh, be strong. See... Oh, talk about passing out of defense. Isn't that how Barcelona would do it? No, trying those through balls. Not yet anyway. Aguero. See, this is where the pass... When you're passing into a, the attack, that's, that's what I always struggle with anyway, but I feel the CPU... Mm. The build-up is great, but once you get in the attack like that, I feel the passes are different. Well, the CPU runs are. Come pass to the feet the same way. Like, they're expecting you to do a through ball, and that's not what we're trying to play now. Ah, get him. Don't let him get past, though. Don't let him get past. Oh, we're holding on for so long. Ronaldo blocking him. <laughs> Let's go. Defense on. So that's what we mean here. We can keep the possession and even pushing out wide. I ah, oh, it opens up. De Jong, oh, that wasn't the worst effort. That wasn't the worst effort. Oof, I was almost a little surprised he got that opening. And I'm like, oh, I can actually shoot here. But maybe. Can play quick. Oh, Messi. Exactly where we want him to come in now. He's gone for a run. Pad ran out of space there. Ooh. And so you see what I mean? If I didn't change the half time, it would have been over. Like, half time, yeah, we would be there already. And I think we've had two decent chances so far. So now it's Messi. And sometimes he will need to try messy like things. Oh, Dembele, neat touch. Oh. Oh, 
okay. I didn't mean that. I didn't mean that, but... Oh, that ruined it in the end. Well, that final pass did, but... Hmm. I'm liking how we're playing, though. It's the right intent. It's the right intent, for sure. Long lay. So, some... Oh, yeah, it was going to be half-time anyway. So, guys, does this sound like a weird thing? I'm going to defend better because I'm, 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 I'm having my half-length longer. Because I don't feel I need to rush, even though it's still nil-nil. How about that? See, guys, I can't help it. I know if we're going to want to play this style, you're probably going to expect Barca to have 60% possession. But the CPU play this style as well. So, and when they're a good team, they're going to have that higher possession. So, don't necessarily judge that. I mean, you can if you want. Like, oh, I need to be keeping more possession. But I feel like I am. It's just the CPU is playing the exact same way. So, <laughs> yeah, what can you do? But I feel I'm playing better because I'm not rushing, both in attack and in defense. More specifically defense, because we haven't scored yet. So you can't judge attack, maybe. But you see. You see how we're generating opportunities. The only thing, maybe got to go down that side a bit more with Messi. But very wide he is. Okay. Don't be afraid to go back. Jordi Alba finds. See, oh, their, their closing down is extremely good. Pjanic. Aguero. Ah, see, I I feel that pass should have been made. But I feel he was just running past the ball. He was like, hmm. Delict. He's a very... I'd like Delict, honestly. He's a very strong defender. If we're thinking about someone to replace PK. Come on. Yep. No, he's going to be on his left. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. Tried my best to stop that cross. But in the end, it wasn't the great. Oh, that wasn't the greatest either. De Jong, see, this is where now... Okay, hold on a bit. But see, it's the player's runs. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, we're waiting there for a sec. Make sure he passes on his left. We know he's left-footed. See, might try and get a through ball to Aguero there normally. But let's hold. Pjanic. See, can we fight? I guess we got to get it wide to Messi, then cut in. Oh, oh, oh I was going to try. Who was that? Was that Messi or you saw? Who was ever the most advanced? He's dropping bit. I don't think it was Messi, no. Oh, that was very close. But the CPU's defending is just super strong. We've had a couple of those almost moments while we've defended strong as well. See, this is where I'd like to attack. Coutinho wins the foul, which you keep in mind, you might need to make a sub right now. Dembele, Coutinho, hold up. We, we mentioned Trincao. We will try and use him as an attacking midfielder, even though it's negative one right now. Should we train that to be his main, yeah, main position? Then Fati for them or Aguero. Make sure, yeah, I don't want him to get injured. He's getting older, of course. So we bring on Fati, then we switch with Messi. Messi negative one, but he's Messi and see how he goes through the middle. And yeah, we only really have one center midfielder. I mentioned I liked his attributes though. Good balance. And I want to see how he yeah, passes on the ball. So someone like a Pjanic, Great attributes. De Jong. But they're both so similar. De Jong's a little bit more tired, though. And that's important late in games. And isn't he a centre midfielder? I guess he needs to get his sharpness up. And no matter how this game plays out, guys, we win, we lose. Playing this way, I'm enjoying FIFA more. If you were watching my other series and you'd see me rage a lot, like, hey... It could be different if it, I haven't conceded a goal yet, Th maybe, but I'm enjoying it more playing this way. Are you guys, if you try and play Tiki Taka yourself, I'm definitely not... Uh, we need closer support. Fatty. Can he get past? Trincao. Ooh, not quite. But yeah, it's... feel like I'm enjoying enjoying the game more. Win, lose, or draw. Even though this game can't be a draw. Long late. Yeah, he's looking a bit tired. 
Alexandro. The goal scoring aspect, yeah. The the goals side of things. There we see what I mean. Juve are doing that type of stuff. That's why their possession is going so high. They're holding on to it. They haven't really done a lot with the ball. So now, Messi. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, not it to be an error, please. Please don't. Oh, can change right time. No, I wanted to change so much earlier. No, it's going to be an error. Far out. I wanted this to be perfect. Why did it have to be a an error, man? Oh, I was passing there. Look, look, look. Just so you know, I'll, I'll keep it short with the assistant. Assistant. <laughs> the instant reap. Why did it have to be like that? Why, why, why? 15 minutes remain. We can be frustrated. Or we can try and look for a goal ourselves. Mmm, I'm a... See, I just... Oh, far out. I'm just wanting to do well, that's it. Now it's Messi. He might look for a 1-2. Oh, one 2 No, he's offside. Ramsey does nothing. See, now we might take a more aggressive tone. Because <laughs> we... You, oh, far out. Don't let it get the better of me. Don't get it let the... Don't let it get the better of you. Ramsey. Ramsey. Don't let him score. And smart defending. Oh, now. See? No, he's got to be faster. Dembele. Dembele. Now, get, run through. Messi. 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 Does Messi need to be through the middle? Because he is... He is the star, and Barcelona fans out there are not surprised that it was Leo Messi. He made the right step to make the run, get on the right side of his opponent. Yeah, it's just Leo Messi. He's the hero again, finish on the outside of the foot. That's I knew we had to finish like that, man. Let's go. I thought I was dead and buried. But see, that was a more counter-style goal and attacking. That's, uh, yeah, that's what we needed to do. Oh, no, see, the direction. I was going central. And that's the same reason what led to their goal. And a pass where it didn't go where I wanted. So, like, well, no, if they, if they, I'm, this is not going to feel right. That was great blocking by Alba, but there's a good chance that could have been a goal, but... Like, it's, it's, like, they shouldn't, like, <laughs> ugh, let's just play short passes and not do lobs, because, uh, can tend to be a bit frustrating, to say the least. And now, okay, go quick, it's all on up, no, 90 minutes. Oh, long late, now clear. Oh, I'm shocked it went to us. Dembele, you had to use some skill there. Now try and pass it through. Of course, nah, nah that was never going to get through. But, you know, you try. Decent play and showing Messi's goal. Clinical. How are we going to replace Messi? I'm not sure if even Aguero could have done that. Well, he would have been so tired. They would have caught up. Oh, imagine if it was a late... A late winner. Nah, that's going to be blown. That's blown. A fantastic final, and it's going to end in the most nerve-shredding way possible. See, guys, if you look at the stats, the stats are not how I played out that game. 43%. You, you look at that, like, Juve dominated. So I'd like to get as many highlights as I can uh, can in because, yeah, penny shoot. Oh, wow. Is Messi really 75 pens? <laughs> but anyway... We'll see how the lottery of sh lottery of shootouts goes, but I th I thought I didn't play too bad. The stats, yeah, stats wouldn't show that game. Okay, I'm gonna have a plan. No. Oh, Ronaldo! So much for Penaldo. Yeah, <laughs> can't even score that. Um, I'm gonna go down, just and aim it. Ah, oh, the he guessed the right way. He guessed the right way. So that was that. He, uh, we've got to finish, though. Messi maybe has the talent to get it in a corner, but I have a bit 
love-hate relationship with penalties. But see, just that time, he didn't guess it. <laughs> Got it on target again. Okay, okay. Ah, they're going that side every time. Oh. Okay. Okay, Dembele. Let's see what I mean. Yes. It shakes so much, man. Okay. They got... Oh, my logic was to go left every time. And it would, the, the odds would be he'll go there one time. Oh, neat. Neat. All right. It's oh, such tight. Okay. Surely. Yes. Oh. And it's the young talent. We've been mentioning him. We've been mentioning him. Okay. Okay, I'm going to try this. If you can get it going. Oh, no, no, it's true. Oh, sorry. Sorry. I'm glad. I'm lucky I got it on target. It just went crazy. I, I pressed shoot and then it went mad. Oh, they're giving me. They're giving me a chance. Okay. It's um, it could be down to their quality. He's not going to finesse it. Damn. Yes. Did it anyway. Did it anyway. The heroes. They gave us opportunities. We took them in the end. That previous penalty, I had no idea what happened, man. I did it the same as the others. Could be down to his quality. But anyway, we won the shootout. We won the shootout. This career mode hasn't started too badly at all. I'll tell you that much. I'll tell you that much. One penalty shootout, and we've won it. Whew. Let's go. <laughs> Aguero didn't look happy whatsoever. But that wasn't a bad way. And I, as I said, I really liked how we played. Three shots and 43% possession doesn't really tell the story because uh, we try to, yeah, pass, keep possession. And we had a couple almost chances that you would have seen. And I was happy with those. And maybe karma was the end. Maybe karma is not the exact word, but that we deserved what we got through my intent. And I really enjoyed that game. The penalty shootout was just nervy as, 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 as something. It's as nervy as you can get. Oh, it's so good to win that. My feelings would have been so different if we didn't. And hey, we missed what? One penalty? Not the worst. Not the worst. De La Fonte. De La Fonte. Let's see. A loan to buy. They always go for loan to buyers, which I get it. I get it. He's got a bit of growth. So even his release clause is pretty low. So yeah, as I mentioned, I'll sort those out. Tournament prize money. It's nothing special. There we Hold up. Did the other one not go through or it's still still pending? You know, we'll accept both. Good chance for him to move to one. But I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it there after that game so you guys can still leave extra transfers in terms of, yeah, the move. Because how far season? The season, you know, there's still... A couple more weeks, three or so, three, four. So enough time to finalize the squad and you guys can give your final, you know, final deciders because I've I've gone off uh, the first episode, what you guys said, uh, Wayne Aldum, yeah, let me know if we confirm him because he is actually going to be signing for Barcelona, even though he's a bit older like Aguero, but I reckon he'll be good for the season. Uh, for Just for example, for the time we were back in, that game, he could have been a player that came on. Or if he was starting ahead of Pjanic, Pjanic could come on a, can, instead of using a younger guy. As much as we want to develop those players, but in terms of reaching our success for the season, uh, for the season reaching the success, uh, what the board wants. But yeah, uh, questions to be asked. Uh, should we play Messi? But we just signed Aguero. But a situation where to get messy in that space. But anyway, I liked how we played there. Hopefully you guys can leave your thoughts on the game and definitely tell me where I should be improving, where we could maybe get more possession <laughs> because that's where I was trying to keep possession <laughs> and we still had less than the CPU, but they didn't do a lot with it. They got a goal just from a pure error. So yeah, I'm happy with the game. Hopefully you like it. As I said, leave your final transfer suggestions as you can see some others right there uh, from... Um, different clubs, but I'm going to leave it there. Leave a thumbs up if you're enjoying the career mode so far, and I'll see you next time.